Welcome to another installment of the Devos. Our question for this video is how can we live in obedience to Jesus? Now, to answer this question, I want to take a look at James chapter 1, verses 21 through 25. Therefore, lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it is not a forget for hearer, but a doer of the work. This one will be blessed in what he does. If we want to live in obedience to Christ, it's not enough to show up to church every Sunday and listen to the word of God being spoken. It's not enough to gather with church friends and, and speak about current events. It's not enough to tick a few boxes. We need to be doers of the word. We can listen to sermons about Jesus' teachings. We can read about his teachings. But until we actually live them out, then we aren't living lives as his disciples. See, disciples were not just students, but students who lived out the teachings of their teacher. Well, we need to be disciples because that's what he called for us to be. He called for us to go out into all the nations and spread the message of his gospel to everyone. Absolutely everyone. And we can only do that by being doers of the word. Now, how can we claim to be salt? to preserve his gospel if we won't stand against the rot of the culture and society around us. Now, how do we do that? We look in the scripture. We study scripture. And then we live out scripture. We live out the commandments. We live out his teachings. We live out the Beatitudes. We show that we are not of this world. We just happen to be in this world. Same thing with how can we say we're being the light to help guide those seeking the Lord. If we refuse to show Christ in the joy that only comes through Christ. We can't do that by just showing up and listening and going home. We can't do that at, if we, as Christ said, put our, our candle, our light under a basket. James continues to talk about not so much f salvation through works. That's a mis... You know, we talked about that last week. But it is about how do we know if we have faith if we don't produce good work from abiding in him. That's the same thing with being a doer of the word. If we are abiding in him and we feel the rush of joy of abiding in him, good works, good fruit, being doers of the word just will come cascading out of us. It's not always easy. We go through trials. We feel the, the sting of attack. But that's where we need to step up, put on our full armor of God, and go forth out into the mission field of the world, into the battlefield of the world, and act as his frontline soldiers, his warriors, to do his word. Thank you for joining me for another installment of the Devos, and I shall see you again next time.